Yo, what is going on guys? It is Kobe and today I have the third installment of my How to Get Better Aim series where I'm going to go through each and every little thing in this game that will help improve your aim, your accuracy, and your overall gun skill. If you missed the first two parts of this series, you can click the annotations on screen or the links in the description and watch those first. I highly recommend you watch the videos in order. I have them planned in a certain way, so it would just be better if you watch them in that same order. So go check those out if you have not seen them yet. Anyways, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at one of the most important attachments that you can use to help you win those all-important gunfights. Now, this attachment that I'm talking about is stock. Now, to some of you newer players, they might look at stock and fail to see the true value that it has. They see move faster when aiming, and they might not realize how much it helps just because it doesn't sound like that great of an attachment. But for experienced players, we see that and we know instantly how much this can actually help you. So that's what I'm going to be going over today, explain to you why it's such a great perk, show you guys exactly how much its effects change when attached to different weapons, as well as a simple little exercise that you can do with stock that will help you win more gunfights in the future. As always, if you do enjoy the video, please remember to smack that like button. These videos take a ton of effort to create, but at the end of the day, I think they're worth it. So starting off with some basic stuff, the one and only effect that stock has is increasing your movement speed while you are aiming down the sights. As I'm sure you guys all know, no matter what gun you are using, when you ADS, your movement speed goes way down. You're holding your gun up to eye level, which makes your character move a little slower. Stock simply makes you move faster. Exactly how much faster, we will find out in a little bit, but in a nutshell, that's what this attachment does. So why is that so important? Well, for an obvious reason, when you're aiming in, you're already prepared if an enemy comes into view. You don't have to take that extra added time to aim in, then lock onto your target. You can just point and shoot. In a split second shooter like Call of Duty, the person aiming in waiting for someone to run past them or through a door towards them typically gets the kill. Unless the connection is garbage, then really anything can happen. But regardless, I don't think I really have to tell you why being aimed in already is an advantage. Another use is to check the corners, and more specifically, pre-aim around corners. Without stock, you have two options. You can either just turn the corner walking with your gun at the hip, or you can creep out really slow pre-aimed. However, because of the broken cameras and just general player movement in Call of Duty, they'll just shoot you before you can even see them. Instead, it's much more effective to turn the corner with stock and peek around, and because you're moving fast enough, the broken cameras really won't affect you as much. Now, where I think stock has the biggest impact on your gameplay is when you are in a one-on-one gunfight, you and an enemy player are just looking right at each other, and whoever lands the three or four bullets first is going to get the kill. However, with stock, you also have the ability to avoid shots and maneuver around them to throw the enemy's aim off, also known as strafing. Now, strafing may be the most important skill you can acquire when it comes down to winning gunfights, because just like in real life, it's a lot harder to hit a moving target, and with stock, that's exactly what you become. So now you know how stock works and how good it is and what you can do with it, so the next thing to look at is how it affects the different types of weapons in the game. Because each weapon has a different standard moving speed and a different aiming down sights moving speed. So what I set up was a little test to compare these speeds against the same weapon with stock and see how much it's actually affected. So I'm going to show you three different tests with every weapon. The first is standard movement speed versus ADS speed, ADS speed versus stock ADS speed, and then finally stock ADS speed versus standard movement speed. That may sound kind of confusing, but I think you'll see what I'm talking about. So starting with the SMGs, you can see that the standard movement speed is faster than the ADS speed by about 25%. Now moving on, you see the stock speed is about 20% faster than the normal ADS speed. And finally, you see the stock ADS speed versus the standard movement speed. And they are almost identical, which is crazy if you actually think about it. You can walk around aimed in and ready at the same speed as just normal walking. Moving on to the assault rifles, we see a huge difference when comparing the standard movement speed and ADS speed. They are easily 50% slower when aiming down sights. Now comparing that versus stock ADS, we see similar results again. With stock, you move two times as fast while aiming than without it. And again, when you compare the standard speed to stock speed, they are nearly identical. Now with shotguns, we see similar results to the SMGs. You move at 75% normal speed when aiming in, and then about 20% with stock compared to without it. And nearly the same speed with stock compared to just your standard speed. And lastly, looking at the LMGs, you see a huge difference, once again, similar to the assault rifles. Move at around 50% of the speed while aiming. Then with stock nearly twice as normal as ADSing, and around fairly the same speed as normal walking. So from these tests, there are two obvious things that we can see. The first being that stock is fairly useful with SMGs and shotguns, however you can definitely manage without them. And two, stock makes a huge difference with LMGs and assault rifles, however more importantly, assault rifles. LMGs are typically pretty stationary, chilling at head glitches and things like that. But with rifles, you want to move around the map, play aggressive, and stock will play a huge role in the amount of gunfights you win while doing so. But back to strafing, you really don't need stock to strafe effectively with an SMG or shotgun. But with an assault rifle, it is absolutely mandatory. As you can see, the difference between strafe speeds are just astronomical. Strafing with an assault rifle without stock is basically useless. So lastly, before I wrap this up, a quick little test or exercise you can do to help improve your accuracy when using stock is to find a spot on a wall, or here I'm just using the basketball hoop, 
and practice keeping your reticle on that spot while strafing back and forth while using stalk. And as it gets easier, you can move farther and farther back and continue doing it. And if you have trouble keeping your shot on the target, you may just either need to practice a little more or decrease your sensitivity like we talked about in a past video. But as you can see, I really encourage you to try out stock, especially on your assault rifles if you don't use it already. It's definitely an attachment for more aggressive players, but when you do get used to strafing and you're still able to keep your aim on target, I guarantee that you will win more gunfights. So that's the video for today, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said earlier, a lot of effort goes into these videos, so if you could support it with a like and a favorite, that would be much appreciated. If you can get this to like 300 likes today, that would be awesome, and of course I'll start working on the next video. But check out my last two videos if you missed them, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.